leg like, like supported wall squats, but we're gonna basically do uh, positional levels where we're gonna find three different levels, like your, your starting point, your midpoint, and the deepest range you can go um, that doesn't cause too much discomfort. The goal for this exercise is to basically target uh, one leg at a time and to really work on the quad, okay? So I'm gonna use a wall that has basically a supporting surface on each end, but um, if you're at the gym, you can use a squat rack, something that is stable, or if you do have access to like a wall, but if you're at the gym um, and if it's on your program type of thing, then just using like a squat rack and you kind of hold on to the rig itself. So the goal for this exercise is I want you to basically get where your foot is already on the wall, okay? What I mean by that is like my toe is connected to the, to the squat rack or to the wall. Now, the goal would be to technically where I want to get my foot a little bit away from the wall, whereas I bend the knee, I can touch the wall, okay? Because if I'm super close, you know, I'm not really stressing the knee as much as I want. So I'm gonna get a couple steps back, a few inches from the wall, and you're gonna bend the knee to basically connect to the wall, okay? So essentially it's a lot of knees over toes. The goal for this exercise is to work on knees over toes and to stress the quad in a safer position. So I'm gonna hold on to here. I'm gonna find level one, which is barely me starting. I'm gonna hold that for about five to 10 seconds. I'm gonna find level two. I'm gonna hold that five to 10 seconds. I'm gonna find level three, which is the deepest part I can, I can control and tolerate. And I'm gonna hold that five to 10 seconds. You're gonna come back, still keep your knee connected. Back to level one, hold five to 10 seconds. Find level two, again, five to 10 seconds. Find level three, again, I'm driving my knee into the wall. I'm holding that five to 10 seconds. And we're gonna keep going. Now the goal for this is to go to where you fatigue and your quad just kind of burns out before you get knee pain, okay? So that could be anywhere from three to six repetitions three to eight repetitions, what, however long it takes for you to be like, I feel my quad, it is working. I know what it's like to stress my quad now without having a lot of sharp knee pain. If you have pain, let's keep it less than five out of 10. So this will be number three for me. I'm gonna hold that five to 10 seconds. Again, I'm just doing the video, so I'm not gonna hold the time. Level two, five to 10 seconds. Level three, hold, five to 10 seconds. Reset, find level one. My chest is nice and tall, five to 10 seconds. Hold, five to 10 seconds. Level three, hold. Five to 10 seconds. Now I'm going until essentially I can't do one more full set of that. To make it even more intentful, think about actually driving and putting your foot into the ground. Like you wanna be able to press into the ground to be more intentful so we can get that force coming back into you. So uh, yes, your foot is already on the ground, but be thinking about you wanna press a hole in the earth, okay? So essentially that's our positional single leg squat with your knee into a supporting surface such as, such as a, uh, a wall or a squat rack. Now, if you if the knee is just kind of bugging you because you're in a hard surface, just put like a light towel in between your knee and the surface, okay? So this would be a very quad dominant exercise.